G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And today, we're going to talk about this fella, a snake that hopefully everybody in the country knows, and that's the red belly black snake. Stay tuned, guys. They're pretty dangerous. Take more Wicked Wildlife encounters. This is telling our So these guys are native to Eastern Australia, where they're found from just north of Cairns, all the way down here to Victoria, and they push westwards uh, along waterways up to about South Australia. Throughout that whole distribution, they really are associated with waterways. So following rivers and ponds and dams and, and the like, up until about 100 metres away from there. The reason for this love of water is their favourite food is frogs. These guys absolutely adore frogs. However, they are a generalist. Besides frogs, they'll eat lizards, they'll eat mammals, mice, rats. They'll even eat other snakes. There's plenty of photos of these guys eating brown snakes. They'll even eat other red belly black snakes. So he might love frogs, but he's certainly a generalist. He's not that fussy. But yeah, he's very much associated with waterways. Unfortunately, being a lover of frogs, this guy's run into one problem in the northern parts of his range. And that is, being a lover of frogs, he has a hard time dealing with cane toads. Once upon a time, grandma and grandpa's mates thought it would be a good idea to bring a poisonous toad to Australia and let it loose. And uh, you can imagine, as much as I love snakes, they're not the brightest of animals. He can't tell the difference with a toad and a frog. And uh, unfortunately, for a long, long time, one bite of a cane toad has been enough to, to kill this guy. He tries to eat him, and uh, he's not going to do too well. On the flip side, people have actually started to realise that the black snake and a couple of other species have started to adapt to the presence of cane toads. In one study, they found that in certain areas where cane toads were a common issue for black snakes, that the red bellies in the area had increased their body size 10 to 15%. At the same time, their heads had stayed the same size. What this means is that they had big bodies and little heads, meaning that a snake could only eat a smaller toad compared to his size, which hopefully would be a sublethal dose. Theoretically, he'd have a sore belly and he'd go, you know what, I'm not going to eat that again. But hopefully, it means that the toad's small enough, the snake's big enough, that he's able to survive. So cane toads certainly are a problem for them, but they are getting through it. Another interesting thing about this guy here is that he's fairly unique in the black snakes. The other black snakes that we have in Australia, like the King Brown or Mulga, which is a terrible name because he's not a brown, he's a black snake. The Collette's black, the Spotted black, all these sorts of guys, uh, they're all egg layers. Whereas the red belly is a live bearer. What they do is they give birth to their young in sort of a little membrane. It's kind of like semi-egg laying. But instead of laying eggs and leaving those eggs to hatch, that membrane is basically burst as soon as they're born and babies disappear on their way. This adaptation has meant that the red belly is able to live in far colder climates than other black snakes. As I've said in other videos, the big advantage of giving birth to live young is that you're not relying on that place staying the same temperature and staying dry for the whole incubation. This girl can carry them inside her belly from place to place and then give birth to them. So it means that the red belly black is able to live far further south and at further el higher altitudes than our other black snakes. Another thing that makes this guy fairly unique amongst black snakes is that while there is a black snake antivenine, hospitals and doctors and scientists have actually realized that tiger snake antivenine works really well in the case of red belly black snake bites. In fact, most of the time when people are bitten by a red belly black snake, they're apparently treated with tiger snake antivenine. The reason being is they need a little bit less of it, and the less drugs they need to pump into your body, the better for your long-term health. That being said, while the red belly is certainly a medically significant snake and you wouldn't want to cop a bite from him, as far as I can find, there is no records of a healthy adult human being ever having been killed by a red belly black snake. So as you can see, guys, while these guys might have a bit of a reputation like all our other venomous snakes in Australia, this guy here is an absolute puppy dog. I don't think you could ask for a more pleasant snake to work with than this bloke. So, as always guys, please be nice to snakes, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share our videos around, leave us a comment and whatnot. And uh, as always guys, like I said, be nice to snakes, have a good one and take care.